What's going on YouTube? Today we are giving you an exclusive first look at the iPad 9. Before we get started, be sure to hit the subscribe button and click the bell so you don't miss. I'm Chris Grant Jr. It's the Granite Geek Show. Now, of course, I know the first thing you want to hear is all about the sources. Chris, where did you get this? Well, the leaks are coming from Alexander, a.k.a. Apple LE257. You can follow him on Twitter right there. He recently did a video with Luke Miani um, revealing what the 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros will probably look like and what the specs on those will be. Now, he's still relatively new in the leaks game, so he's still building up his reputation. Uh, but these these renders look amazing and those are done by by Apple tomorrow. Okay, now first let's talk some specs. So starting out with the most striking of changes, and that is the increase of the screen size from the eighth generation to the ninth generation, going from 10.2 inches to 10.5 inches. And this is pretty believable because all of the iPad screens have slowly been getting a little bigger. If you look at the iPad Air, that's now at 11 inches, which matches the 11 inch iPad Pro. So now with this one going up to 2.5, it kind of slots right in there at that nice form factor look and gives people a little bit of a better screen, a bigger screen. Um, but that's just the beginning when it comes to the display upgrades on this thing, as it's going to have a fully laminated display um, with not ProMotion, but P3, and it will also have True Tone now. All of these things are not currently available on the 8th generation iPad, so those will be some great updates. Now, unfortunately, the 9th gen iPad will not be getting support for the 2nd generation of Apple Pencil, which kind of makes sense because the Apple Pencil is not something that really gets upgraded that often. There's only so much you can do with it. And uh, the first generation still works great and it makes sense to differentiate your upper tier iPads like the iPad Pro from like a lower tier iPad in terms of what pencil that they can use. And so we're now in 2021 and they've shown with the iPad fifth generation, they don't plan on changing this design. And so I think to upgrade the regular iPad to this same form factor would begin to make the iPad Pro look a little dated, look a little old and just kind of expedite that process of them needing to refresh the design language. So I do understand them not going borderless here until you go to those upper tier iPads, including the iPad Air, well, starting with the iPad Air. Um, still with the home button and Touch ID, no Face ID here. And I think Touch ID is once again, just a way to differentiate their upper tier iPads and their upper tier devices from their lower tier ones. But as we've seen with the recent pandemic and things like that, um, Touch ID has its functionality. Now, arguably the most important thing about this iPad is what's behind the glass, what's under the hood, what's going to be powering this iPad ninth generation. And the A12 is what's currently powering the 8th generation iPad. This will get either the A13 and the A14. I think this is mostly unclear uh, because of chip shortages. So they're not sure how much of which supply they're actually going to have. And maybe they have a good stockpile of the A13 chip uh, to put in this new iPad. It will be a spec bump. Um, if they do the A14, that'll be a significant bump. Uh, and so we'll just have to wait to see about that. And again, I think it'll be due to chip shortages. Now, Alexander, AKA Apple LE257, uh, has a high level of confidence regarding the credibility of these leaks and this information. Um, and thanks again to Apple to tomorrow for these renders. They look absolutely gorgeous. Uh, so we'll just have to wait and see. The track record for Alexander is still developing. So I would imagine hopefully we can get him on Apple Tracks. Sam Co oh, excuse me. But in regards to the accuracy of this report, we won't know for certain until later this year. So we're not looking for this in WWDC. This will be later in the year, probably closer to the iPhone event. So let me know what you think of the new iPad ninth generation down in the comments below. I'm also about to get started on my video. I found my first issue with the M1 iPad iPad Pro. Yeah, guys, I gotta be honest. So if you want to see that, that should be out later today. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and click the bell so you don't miss when it drops. Let's keep the conversation going. As always, guys, follow me on Twitter at Chris Grant Jr. It's actually probably over there. So <laughs> that did nothing. Thanks again to Alex and Apple tomorrow for this exclusive leak and the beautiful renders. Uh, you can follow them on Twitter as well. I'll have them somewhere up on the screen. We can keep the conversation going over there. Thanks guys so much for watching. I'm Chris Grant Jr. It's the Granite Geek Show.